Hey everyone, and welcome to another Fireside Chat with Tom. This time we're talking about side projects. Side projects are a um, wonderful way to learn new stuff and also to um, stay motivated because you get to like work on something you're interested in, which might not always be the case uh, when you're like you know working full time. Um, so it could be really fun. But a lot of people avoid them and they claim that they are like burnt out and that trying to do a side project burns you out. So I recently went through this. Um, I have a side project um, that, to be honest, I maybe spend two to three hours a week on. And that's the thing is it's a side project. So I think a lot of developers look at it. We have this mystical idea about like a startup weekend where you just sit down, you drink a bunch of Red Bull and you make an app. Um, that doesn't work anymore. Um, you're just not going to make something interesting in a really short period of time. And when you set that expectation of like creating an entire app or an entire MVP within a week, you really put a lot of stress on yourself. What I've done in the past, and it's a mistake, is I've just been like, I got a great idea, let's just like start coding and see how far I'll get. And the answer is I don't get very far. I usually get to auth, and then I get annoyed, and then I rage quit the idea, and then I never come back to it. Because my expectations are like, I'm going to sit down and by the time I'm done, I'm going to get this pat on the head of having done this app. And when I don't get that, the, the, you know, the dopamine cycle doesn't get closed. I don't get the gratification that I want and I get pissed off and then I don't want to do it. And then I have a negative taste in my mouth about trying to do a side project. So what I did with my last one that I'm still working on that is way behind schedule and that's okay is I started to try to do it that way. I was like, I took a couple of days of vacation and I was just goofing around with it. And I realized that actually there's no way I'm going to get this done in a couple of days. And so instead what I did is I used the GitHub issue tracker and I just wrote out everything I wanted to do. Basically I treated it like a real project. And so before I actually started doing any coding for version two, like the version that where I was like, okay, let's take a, take a breath. Uh, I actually started laying out like what I wanted to build and I wrote it out. And then I treated it like a real project. Like I would actually, when I worked on it, I would check, I would go to the, the repo. I would look at the project board and see what was the next thing I needed to do. I would check out a branch and I would put in a PR. And so I followed this process even though I was the only one working on the code. And the reason I did it is it granularized the actual progress so that instead of needing to get the whole thing done to get that dopamine hit or whatever your brain does when you're happy, I got that little kick every time I closed a PR. And a lot of times like an issue would turn from one thing to another and I would realize, oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. But that's okay. I just kept, you know, closing the issue, make a new issue, writing out what I was doing. And what this gave me was an opportunity to really think about what I was trying to build and also to just keep granularizing it. So I was actually making consistent progress on something. And then because I was doing this and managing those expectations and keeping things small, and not putting any pressure on myself, it became something I actually looked forward to working on as opposed to something I was dreading because I felt like I was behind. So the overall message there would be, if you have a side project you wanna work on, great, go for it. But before you start coding and trying to build it overnight, stop and think about what you're trying to do, write it out. You'll find when you start writing it out, you realize you've made some you know, errors in judgment and you'll, you'll refactor your issues before you even start writing code. And I don't know, like, honestly, like I'm way behind on this, this, this project. I haven't touched it in weeks, but I still don't, it doesn't bother me. And I still feel like when I go back to it, 
I'll know exactly what the state of it is because I've written it out instead of trying to keep it in my head. I think we have too many hats as developers. We try to keep too many things in our head. The more you can take things and put them into written word so that you can remind yourself later on, the better. The more things that you can actually get done because you've just taken it, pushed it out of your out of your own context. You can focus on your work, get your work done. And then when you want to express yourself, when you want to learn Flutter or React Native or a new way of routing or whatever, you can go try that out with your side project, right? And you can get a little piece of, of something done and you can feel good about it. Other piece of advice I'd have with this is if you do have a side project like that, maybe try to find somebody else that you could partner up with to help you because code is isolating to begin with. And for a lot of people, they feel like, at least I feel like I spent a lot of time just on my ID writing code or on my project management tools, managing projects or whatever, it gets a little isolating. So if you can find someone else that'll help you, if you've already laid everything out in issues, there's a lot less of having to explain everything. They could just do the exact same thing you do, which is just check out an issue branch and submit a PR. So you set yourself up for that. Heck, maybe you could even create an open source project around it. Um, so just a little piece of advice for anyone that's interested in getting side projects going and they feel like they'd love to, but they just don't have the time, they don't have the mental energy. That's because you're trying to hold everything up at once and take it off your plate like put that ball down, stop trying to juggle it, put it up onto an issue tracker of some sort, and then, you know, divide and conquer, figure out one small little piece you can do, make a little progress, maybe reach out to a friend, you know, there's strength in numbers. I'm rambling now. Have a wonderful day.